<clears throat> okay, welcome back. We are in the uh, Lightning today. The F6. This is a free download on X Plane 11, I believe. Right, let's have one stage of flaps. It's one of the scariest airplanes that you can fly. Very, very volatile thing. So this and the Phantom F4, they're both beasts. They really are. I'm not sure which is the scariest. It's pretty damn scary. You've got to get up to nearly 200 miles an hour before you can get airborne. Gear up. Flaps can go away. This is uh, Boscombe Down. Near Salisbury. It's a fancy looking thing, isn't it? Anyway. Focus G. Right, put the nose down and bring the power back. Oh, keep it positive, come on. Oh, I don't like that negative G. So that, I believe, is the Isle of Wight. I know it is. Right. Trim, 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 trim. Nose down, there we go. Trimmed in. So, how are we doing for fuel? We've got three quarter tanks by the looks of things, and one empty tank. Okay. So we won't be flying for long, because this thing uses colossal amounts of fuel. Where should we go? I'm just thinking somewhere with a nice long runway. Um, I don't know. Where's Boscombe gone? It was behind us there somewhere. So we'll go heading north again. That's west. Power back. Hmm. Yeah, let's come on to north. Because the Isle of Wight was south, wasn't it? So Boscombe must be here somewhere. This thing flies so quickly. Must be Salisbury Cathedral then. So Boscombe's north of Salisbury, but only just. Got it. Okay. In relation to the cathedral, it's there. Look. We want a nice big long runway. What sort of speed are we going to touch down at? Mm, 200. Yeah, okay. So we'll extend our air brakes. Don't think they're going to do a tremendous amount, are they? <clears throat> We're super high, actually. 
And we'll try a touch and go. No wind today, it's kind of okay. 10,000 feet on long finals. Wow. We need to get rid of the altitude. Not too many else around. Okay. We're going far too fast. But once we've raised the nose, that speed will bleed away quite quickly. Still too fast, still too fast. Still well too fast. Okay, you can put the speed brakes in and we'll do a, a go around and then we'll make another approach at a more reasonable speed. So, uh, 700 feet. There's our takeoff runway. There's our hill. We've got Stonehenge around here somewhere. I think it's off to the west. Just a little bit. Okay, so circuit height will make it a thousand feet. Okay, turn downwind. Going through a thousand feet up to. Uh, Heading up to 2,000 feet by the looks of it. Right, come on, G, get a grip, get a grip. Where's the runway? There it is. 1,700 feet. Speed is coming down nicely now. That's good, that's good. Okay, roll out. Lightning downwind to roll. Number one report final. Number one report final, lightning. Okay, speed brakes are in, flaps are up, gear is up. Everything else is looking okay. So nice and easy downwind altitude, 1200 feet. Trickle more power. Gotta watch the power, don't drop below 200. Downwind, let's wait until we're in the right position, getting a bit low now, come on, trickle up power. Keep it at a thousand feet downwind. Keeping a good lookout for other aircraft. Just under 250 knots, that's good. Runway threshold needs to be 45 degrees off the tail. About there it'll do. Okay, so let's bring you around. Watching our altitude, altitude's good. 1100 feet. It'll have some wheels. Gear in transit. Watch your airspeed, 200 knots. Don't let it drop below 200. That's good. Okay, quick check. Aircraft flaps. 
one stage, two stages, three greens confirmed, lightning vinyl touch and go, blue touch and go, drifting off to the right of the centre line. Full power after burner on flaps to one, one stage off gear up flaps up 300 knots 400 knots wow that thing can go it really does go when you uh... okay that's cool I'm happy with that thousand feet below the nose bring it around Before that speed drops off again. That's our runway, there we are. Okay. If you're doing circuits, you can put that green arrow where you want to be on the compass there if you want. It just helps you out. Okay, so we're downwind, we're nice and tucked in. We're not too tight on the airfield, we're not too far away. <coughs> Airspeed is still too high, we're coming up, we're creeping up to 2,000 feet as well, so we need to reduce the power. Let the airspeed diminish. Lightning downwind for full stop. Downwind, full stop, uh, number one report final. Number one report final. Okay. One thousand six hundred feet. Slowing down nicely. Still too fast for gear. And flaps. Raise the nose slightly. That'll lose us some speed. Three hundred. Coming up to our turning point. We'll lose a lot of speed in the turn. Okay, let's start the turn. Watching that airspeed, watch that airspeed. Okay, gear speed, gear, gear in transit. Watch the airspeed, trickle of power. Will I drop below 200? <coughs> One stage off. Air brakes are in. Quick look for other airplanes. 200 knots. A bit more power. Keep her at 200. Two stages of yeah. lightning finals, full stop. Lightning, clear land. Clear land, lightning. Pretty light winds today, there's bugger all wind, really. So we're nailing it at 200 knots. Confirmed three greens, confirmed. Keep her coming in at 200. 200, that's good. And we need a pilot chute here to uh, to stop. I have pilot chute allocated. Throttle is closed. Nose is raised. Touchdown and pilot chute deployed. Okay, 
yes, Pilot 2 is definitely deployed. So we can go to full flaps and we can have our air brakes out now as well. Back to the cockpit, there we are. And we can start applying our brakes as well because we've got no chance of stopping this aircraft with just the brakes. Really need that parachute out for sure. Big heavy old aeroplane this. Well that that seems to work well. Okay, we can dump the chute. Chute's gone. Little man will come out and pick that up. Flaps can come up. The speed brakes can come in. And we'll turn it here. And taxi to park. Well, that was fun. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Very, very scary aeroplane to fly. It really is, and she's not turning at all. Now the brakes have faded on me. Okay, must have braked too hard. Well, he won't go far on the grass, that's for sure. You see, these things have got castering nose wheels and if your brakes fade and you've got no steering on the ground at all but once it's in the sky it's an awesome beast so I must try it again thanks for watching <laughs>